Welcome back to my channel. This episode of my travels, I will be walking you through how I spent 24 hours in Milan, Italy. I first caught a red eye flight from JFK to MXP and using my mileage points, I only spent $40 one way. This flight is eight hours long and since it's a red eye flight, it works perfect with my sleep schedule. Morning everyone, or should I say ciao. I am in Italy today and I'm excited to just explore and go shopping. So I love coming to Italy shop because they have great deals. Well, Paris is beautiful, the Louis Vuitton, Italy is better for Givenchy, Gucci, Valentino, and etc. So I'm about to get off the plane now. Um, so far in Italy, we don't have to pull anything out of customs. So I'm assuming it's similar to power, so you just walk through our electronic system and I will then go into the process of taking the train into the city. So see y'all there. Ciao. I finally landed in Italy. Once you're off the plane, just follow the signs to arrival. It will take you through custom and baggage claim. Don't worry about a language barrier because the words will be in Italian and English. Okay, so now I'm gonna look for the signs for the train. Made it out of customs. Let's go. Okay, made it out of baggage claim, and now I'm just following these signs. I believe the P stands for trains. Or oh, here we go. You see, you will be able to see the train system. All right, here's the sign for public transportation. What I love about the display is it provides you different modes of transportation for leaving the airport. Okay, found the signs that gives me the direction to the train. You see the train sign right there. So saying. Walk this way. Listen, it was a walk to get to that train station, but I finally made it to the ticket counter. Now, there are different kinds of trains here in Italy. We have the express train, similar to the Long Island Railroad and Metro North, like in New York City, and we have I can't pronounce that word, but it's basically the underground train. Now, the airport is one hour away from the city, and since I'm only here for 24 hours, best believe I'm taking the express train. The express train leaves at specific times. You can choose Milan Central or Cardona. It don't matter which station you choose as they both take you into the city. You then select the date and time you want to ride the train and it will populate the options you can choose from. Now it costs 13 euros one way. Now it says it takes 38 minutes to get there. I can't imagine how long the underground train will take. After you get your ticket, you must then activate it before heading onto the platform. Now, what happens if you don't activate it? I have no idea as I'm a foreigner and I like to follow the rules when I leave the country. Being that I'm at the first and last stop of the train, I have the option of sitting anywhere. I chose a window seat so I can look out the window. There will be a conductor on board to check your ticket. I made it off the train and now I need to look for the underground train. When you don't know where to go, just follow everyone else. So if everyone else is walking straight, just walk straight. Alright, so as you leave the train station, of course they have a lot of shopping things. So I'm in Milan Central and I took an express train. So I think of that as the Long Island Railroad in New York City. But I need to take the underground train. Those are the ones that, you know, like New York City, the EACE. -E. So I'm going to look for the underground trains because I'm not trying to pay no more 10 euros for no express train. The underground trains here, um, I think they have like an old day pass for 7 euros. So I'm going to try to purchase that. and. I gotta learn the difference between these trains. It's it's a little confusing. I'm kind of rusty, but we're gonna get there. So this is like Grand Central. There's areas to shop at. You see here. But I'm gonna go down to the train. 
So as you can see, I was in search for the underground train. I saw a machine that was not labeled express, so I assumed it was for the underground train. But after five minutes of playing around on it, I realized this train is similar to Metro North. So here is the machine where you buy a ticket to take a train that goes outside of Milan. That is when I realized you have to look for the signs that says Metro, not trains, because Metro is for underground. Okay, so when you go, you hit English, go to other ATM ticket, and then you do ATM that include Milan, and then you're going to do one day, or you can do a three day. So this is all trains, all met no, not all trains, all metros and buses that's in Milan for a day, unlimited. Now there's different daily, you can do the nine. So at the end of the day, you can do one with selective trains, but I really just prefer all of them. And if you just don't know, just go to a help desk and they can do it for you. So I finally made it on the metro. Now it's time for me to go shopping. I'm heading to Duermo, which is similar to Fifth Ave in New York City. All the high-end designer stores are over there. Honestly, almost every stop near Duomo have shopping stores nearby. Because I'm a foreigner, I don't have to pay any taxes. Since taxes is already included in the price, I get 12 to 15% off my items. However, not all stores provide this and many stores you need to spend a minimum of $200. Lastly, you have to make sure you have your passport with you when you're shopping because they will ask for it. I don't know why, but KFC is a big deal in Italy. The line is literally out the door. Just like McDonald's, KFC will have a different menu in different countries. If you've been following me for a while, you know every time I leave the country, I have to check out Zara. Because every Zara is completely different. Like in Italy, they have an entire ski collection. One thing I'm going to do when I'm in Italy is buy some shoes. Whether it's sneakers, boots, heels. Italy is the best place to go for shoes. Silly me, I forgot to mention the main reason why I came to Italy. There was a spa that went viral on TikTok and I wanted to check it out. Because I bought my ticket last minute, I was only able to catch the 4pm slot. And since I landed in Milan at 8am, I spent my spare time shopping. Now that it's closer to 4pm, I'm heading to the spa. As you can see, the M1 Metro take you straight there. Welcome to QC Terme Milano Spa. You must book your ticket in advance. The prices range from 46 to 70 euros. Upon checking in, you'll receive a wristlet and access to a personal locker. It would include a robe, towel, and slippers. I, on the other hand, bought my own slippers. You'll have access to over 20 different spawners, saws, and pools. You must wear the robe at all times when you're not in the water. This place is always busy. However, your ticket provides you access to all the amenities inside and outside the spa. It's nighttime and cold, so I was not staying outside long, but I just wanted to give you a snippet of how it looks outside. Welcome to the Lightning Storm Simulation Pool Room. This is the room that had everyone, including myself, wanting to visit. But FYI, this room is extremely tiny. Your ticket includes a light meal and the option to make your own sangria. Please note you can only eat during your selected time slot, which consists of only 45 minutes. Since I am here alone, it is so hard to record and to avoid having strangers in my video. But all in all, this spot is amazing and I highly recommend people to check it out. Take the metro. So you look for the M sign, which is metro, and then you come down. Each color represents a different line. And this is the walk in the train station. Just know, depending on the type of train station, it is a little walk. Probably like two to four minutes to transfer over to different um, lines. After the spa, I am now heading back to the airport. 
how you go about buying a ticket to the airport. Look for the express machine. It's obviously aeroporto means airport. You just select the terminal your flight is at and then the time you want, which is obviously the first available one. I made it to the airport and I had to arrive early so I have time to go to the tax refund section so I can get my money back on the things that I bought while I was in Milan. Now I'm trying my hardest not to shop anymore because everyone knows the airport is actually the cheapest place to buy designer stuff and you have to walk past it to go to your gate. So like I'm trying to walk past super fast so I do not have to spend any more money. And now I am heading to London. Since I have a first class ticket with British Airway, I have access to a lounge, which you can also get if you have an Amex Platinum card. So in this lounge, obviously food and drinks is included and free. And now I'm heading to board on my plane. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what other country you would like for me to visit and teach how to leave the airport and navigate the trains.